Richard and I want to just record just one more thing. I have this thing, and it's kind of like, this is why movies, music, entertainment is like failing and dying. You know, like, everything that we do is contradictory to what we believe in. Why would we contradict what we believe in, what our true thoughts are? It's like this, you know, um, let's say that there's an actor, and you do like an interview with him, or you're kind of talking to him like in a bar or something, he's like a big actor, and he's like, telling you how stupid movies are and how lame they are and he's like man movies are stupid man they're lame i don't even know who the hell even watches movies anymore i know i don't oh oh by the way uh tomorrow i gotta film this new project with steven spielberg so i gotta i gotta leave the bar soon okay buddy i'll see you later you know it's like it's like we don't even know what the hell we're doing like we're criticizing one thing and then we and then we turn around and say and then we go and get involved in it. We make fun of something then we get involved in it. That's that's what the modern era's problem is. Is that we don't follow what we believe. We're just trying to just get involved with things just to make money, just to kind of you know, like a lot of actors in Hollywood, they know that movies are lame. They know that the project that they're involved in is probably not gonna be that great. But they're just trying to get somewhere and trying to make some money. You know, they know that movies are dead. A lot of them believe that, but they're still involved with it, and they don't even be, they don't even perpetuate their belief. Why? You know, and it's kind of like uh, a talk show host, like Jay Leno and uh, Conan. It's so contradictory and so stupid that these idiots, they know better. You know that they know better. It's like Conan. You know, I know that Jay Leno talks to his friends or thinks to himself, or Conan talks to his friends or. Conan O'Brien talks to his friends or thinks to himself and he thinks, man, my show is boring as fuck. What can we do to make the show more better? Man, no one watches talk shows no more. It's dead out there. You know, and I bet that he doesn't even watch Jay Leno's show or watch any other show. And it's, it's, it's like he's telling you that it sucks and everything. He's like, man, talk shows suck. Oh, well, anyways, I got to wake up tomorrow early in the morning. Um, I got uh, a few minutes talk to you I, I gotta go film um my talk show now you know it's like it's like people talk bad about something and then they're still involved in what they talk bad about you know it's like i don't even know people don't know what the hell they're doing they, they just they, you know they, they're just idiots they don't follow their true they, they don't follow what they really believe in you know that's why movies and movies movies and movie movies and music are dead because the people who are involved in movies and music don't have the heart. You know, like the actors are just tools. You know, they're just tools and they're, they're not the ones helping the movies. They're just there in the movies, you know. And it's kind of like that's why, you know, uh, it's kind of like a, a musician criticizing, you know, you talk to a musician or you talk to a... It's like a... It's like, 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 say you talk to a rapper and rappers all, man, fucking dubstep sucks, man, you know, like, crap, crap music sucks, it's stupid, doesn't make no damn sense, you know, I, I hate that shit, you know, I'm sorry to say it, but, you know, I hate it, but, but anyways, bro, you know, I gotta, uh, get up and go do this project, you gotta go to the studio and make this song with Skrillex, you know, I gotta go and make a track with him, so I'll see you later, you know, it's kinda like that, it's like, it's, it's like, we, you know, we're just idiots, you know, we, we don't even follow what we really believe in, and the general public, the general public in everyday situations, they do not like what they see or hear in entertainment, but, and, 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 and I'll tell you one thing, actors and musicians, there's no such thing as fans anymore, there's people that watch your stuff, but you don't have fans, actors and musicians, the fans are twiddled down to like 1% of America. They're, they are the 1%. The rest of Americans are just people that watch your crap, that watch your stuff, that read your book, that watch your movies, listen to your music. Only 1%, this is a fact, guarantee it, only 1% of Americans are actual fans of an actor or a musician or an author. Only 1% of America of Americans are actual fans of anything. The rest of them are just people that exist, that work hard every day, that just try to live their lives and try to uh, um, better their lives and work and all that. 
you know they just watch your stuff they're not fans of you and when you always hear blogs and uh, TV interviews is like will now you know well um, Rihanna's fans can now see her watching and uh, Oh, well, um, she's going to go perform in Paris, so now her fans can go see her, which is like a fraction of a fraction, a fraction of a, of 1%, you know, which is half of 1%, 0 0.005, you know, it's like a fraction of 1% is actual fans, you know, that are in Paris, you know, it's probably, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, but in actuality, well, no, I, I would say that as a whole, the planet... One percent of one, one percent of one hundred percent, is actually the friends. The actual the fans, I mean, of celebrities and musicians. Not everyone on the planet, are fans of, of entertainment. That's the truth about music and movies and entertainment. They have less than one percent of the planet as their fans. The planet. You know, it's like, and then the thing is it's very contradictory and is very uh, contradicting too and hypocritical because like you have these red carpet events, right? And you have these people, you know, sitting out there and standing out there shaking hands with celebrities of the movie. And I guarantee you that these people in their daily lives, <laughs> they don't even think or talk about shake, uh, wanting to shake hands or being fans of Jim Carrey or or uh <clears throat> or um or like Leonardo DiCaprio or Seth Rogen or uh or any of these other actors um <clears throat> you know in in their daily lives other than that to, other than that event they were never fans other than that specific event of the red carpet where they they were never fans <laughs> That's the, that that's so hypocritical because they were not like that. They never spoken about it. They never spent their time reading or s the reading the online Wikipedia of Leonardo DiCaprio's work or Leonardo uh, or, or, or uh, Seth Rogen's work or or um, any of those other actors out there. You know, um, Michael Keaton's work on Wikipedia. They never spent their lives, but when they're on the carpet, all of a sudden they become fans. See, that's hypocritical. That's what happens a lot, even in other countries. You think you have fans. I'm going to talk to the actors and musicians. You think you have fans, but in actuality, of 100% of the planet, only 1%, only 1% of 100% is actually your fans. Is actually your fans. You know? It's very small, you, you you know, you know like it, it's it, it's a fraction, you know. It's actually your fans, and most of the time when you see people there, when you see people there at your event, I can guarantee you that those people were not fans before that b before that event. They were not fans. They just became fans at that time, at that moment in time at the red carpet event. They were fans. Other than that, after that event, they go back to their lives and they forget about you. That's the hypocriticalness of human beings and entertainment. That's why movies and music are dead and there's no real fans and it's all fake and hollow and it's a hollow shell and it's just a bunch of bull crap and entertain entertainers and 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 uh, uh, movie makers are just a bunch of idiots that just try to make a movie just to make money and they don't know what the hell they're doing and only a small percentage of them are real artists. And it's just movies are just dead and there's no new stories to tell. There's no new plots to tell. There's no new characters to tell. We keep on telling the same stories with the same damn characteristic personalities and characters and stereotyping. Without stereotyping, there is no story. There is no characters to perpetuate the story without the bad guy or good guy or the fat guy or the nerd guy or the, or the, or the mean guy or this or that. There is no story to tell to perpetuate the story. That's why stories... For movies and books and music itself is dead because you can't tell a new way to tell a love sto a, a love song. You can't tell a way of child abuse or whatever or being abused by your boyfriend in a song because there is no new way to do it. Dubstep is not new. It's just crap. It's just clumsiness. And as rich as it is, and that's why music, movies and music is 
and movies and music and entertainment and books are dead because the people that that hear read and watch and the people who make these things are all just confused and screwed up because they don't belong in the business people don't the there's people that are involved in the business that don't belong there that are not perpetuating the business they're not talented people that's the problem too they're not talented people they're not doing any good for the business they don't know what they're doing they don't belong there and the other thing is that the general public is just they consider entertainment as passive and just kind of a thing you get involved every once in a while but not something that controls your life daily life you know that's one also reason why music and movies is just a uh, frivolous uh, childish thing that's that 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 occurs in the world it's a frivolous childish passive thing that at the end of the day when it comes to something that really matters only science and mathematics will be the triumph that matters movies and music will just be a passive thing of entertainment a childish thing this is Richard Tespit is thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you think about what I said it's the truth y'all